Hey, everybody. Welcome. I saw somebody in the comments, don't remember the username. It's not important. Uh, say no more themes ever. That's not going to happen. There are going to be more themes. It's not going to be Disney all the time. I understand that some people might be experiencing Disney fatigue. Got one more week to go. I'm so proud of you. You're doing so great. We're not going to have any Disney games for a while after that. You might be missing them after a while, but that's okay. Because we're not here to talk about Disney right now. We're here to talk about ice cream. We asked for the best ice cream topping. The hot weather of the summer is here. We're all having ice cream, I assume. Hannah Martin said sprinkles. We call those jimmies in Philadelphia. Rainbow jimmies, chocolate jimmies. Uh, sprinkles, I'm still, when I go to a store and ask for for uh, jimmies, I realize. I should say sprinkles. They don't know what I'm talking about. GNR Swagger likes peanut toffee. Very nice choice. Winnie Grandma chocolate sprinkles. Very specific. Nana 1934 nuts. Jeff Keys. This is a very advanced palate move. Sea salt and olive oil. You fancy, my friend. Ohio State forever loves whipped cream and chocolate syrup. You cannot go wrong with that combo. Singing Frizzle, Magic Shell, or Hot Caramel. It's a good hot topping on cold ice cream. If you like to eat it quickly, you don't want to get it too soupy. That is a fantastic combination right there. Jana OK573 likes cookie dough. Those cookie dough bites, also a great topping. RJ TF Pop Rocks. That is, I've never seen that before, but I kind of want to try it. When are we going for Pop Rocks, my friend? Blue Sweetie 81, Butterscotch. Karen Porter 1875 says bananas are the best topping, but I think K Ennis might have the best answer here of all, which is the best topping for ice cream is more ice cream. Why didn't any of us think of that before you? So smart. I love it. And it's National Fresh Breath Day, so grab your mints and get ready for the Tuesday edition of Daily Trivia Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Keep your brain fresh and minty as you compete for today's grand prize. That is $1,000, and everyone who can correctly answer these 10 multiple-choice general trivia questions will split it. In this game, you will earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one, and you can earn those bonus SB even if you've already been eliminated from winning the grand prize. Now, if you do win the game today, those bonus SB are automatically added on top of your share of the $1,000. Otherwise, you have to claim those bonus SB at the end of the game in order to keep them. Don't panic. It's as simple as clicking a button that appears on your screen. All right. Also, the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize. Two ways to do that. One is using SB. The other is with a free rejoin. And here is a tip for you. If you want more free rejoins or your very first, click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening and get free rejoins by watching videos. Finally, and I always tell people to stick around to the end and claim your SB, and here is why. Each game, we give away five 100 SB prizes to five players who win and claim at least one SB in the game. Here are the winners from Monday. Congratulations, you have all been credited already. Enjoy your SB. And if you're looking at that going, why isn't my name up there? I want that for you too, so keep playing and claiming because next time, the winner could be you. All right, the comments are off to give their own breath a whiff, so please pardon them while they breathe into their own hand and do that thing, and they might be just be smelling a dirty hand. Who knows? Here is question number one. We're going to start without them. Which of the following accessories is worn for support? Is it a necklace, an earring, or a girdle? Which of those is a support accessory? It can be used to <clears throat> keep it all in, or it can be used for back support, I guess. To be clear, if you have a reason to wear a girdle, there is zero judgment here. You wear that girdle and you wear it with pride. Nothing wrong with that. 97% of you getting that one right. You knew that that was the support piece we were talking about there. Shapewear, you could call it that as well, but uh, also very good for back. You know, sometimes you just need your back held straight. 
Girdle is fantastic for that. All right, we have almost 16,000 people in grand prize contention, and every question you get right from here on out is worth one bonus SB. Let's get into that right now with question number two. Which of the following substances will change its shape when put inside a container? Is it water, iron, or granite? Which of the following substances will change its shape when put inside a container? The attractive forces between the atoms are weak, which means they can move more and slip and slide around one another, which is why, scientifically, water takes on the shape of its container. That is the answer I was looking for. Water. 88% of you getting that one right. Well done. That's, that's Bruce Lee. It's like, be like the nature of water. Move around things. Be able to change your shape. That's what made him so effective as a martial artist. And uh, he could probably fit in containers if he needed to, you know, for like to hide during a fight. Anyway, let's move on to question number three. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. What color is Pac-Man? Is he red, blue, or yellow? What color is Pac-Man? Classic game. The, maybe the first true video game superstar. He needed to be a basic color so he'd be easily identifiable on screen. But did you know that his particular shade of yellow was inspired by Lego? It's true. Yellow is the answer. 94% of you getting that one right. Well done. Now, uh, one of the ghosts is red. I think it's Blinky. There is a light blue ghost as well, but they all turn blue when you eat the power pellets. And uh, if you don't play Pac-Man, you might not know what I'm talking about. But still, we're going to move on to question number four, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. B.B. King's guitar was named Lucille. Which guitarist played a guitar they named Lucy? Was it George Harrison, Stephen Van Zant, or Eric Clapton? One of them named their guitar Lucy. Who was it? B.B. chose the name Lucille to remind himself never to do a crazy thing like fight over a woman. Comedy legend Lucille Ball was the inspiration for George Harrison's guitar name. That's right. He loves Lucy. His guitar, 21% of you, knew it was Lucy who gently wept in George Harrison's song. But that means that 79% of you just got eliminated by our first brutal question of the night. But that is okay. That is what rejoining is for. And of that 79% of you, the majority of you coming right back in, putting us close to 13,000 people in grand prize contention. That is pretty good right there. And we're going to move to the halfway point in our game right now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here is question number five. Which of the following kitchen appliances is used for slow cooking meals? Is it an air fryer, microwave, or crock pot? Which of those would you use to slow cook? I mean, it's called a slow cooker sometimes. Just toss in the ingredients, give it a little stir, then set it and forget it. At the end of the day, you will have a delicious dish ready to go, courtesy of your crock pot. Crock pot is the answer. Pretty much everybody getting that one right. I love a beef stew in the crock pot. My mother made it when I was a kid, so that smells very familiar to me. Now I make it, and I just it reminds me of childhood and my mother, who I love and miss very much. Thanks for the stew, Mom. We're halfway done this game. Moving on to question number six now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. This is question number six. Most of northern Africa is covered by what desert? Is it Death Valley, Sahara, or Arabian Desert? Most of northern Africa is covered by this desert. Which one? It's the largest hot desert in the world, once reaching a temperature of 136 degrees Fahrenheit. I read that correctly and you heard it correctly. Covering 8% of the surface of all the Earth. The Sahara is the answer. That's right, 95% of you getting that one. Well done. Uh, the Arabian Desert, not in Northern Africa. Death Valley is out here in California. It is very hot there too. I don't know if it reaches 136, but... I bet you it gets close. All right, we are moving on to question number seven now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. In what city is it illegal to own a pet rabbit unless you're a magician? Is it Newark, New Jersey, Amsterdam in the Netherlands, or Queensland, Australia? Illegal to own a pet rabbit unless you're a magician. If you're a magician, wouldn't a rabbit count as a co-worker and not a pet? Well... If you live in Queensland, Australia, you can only have a co-worker rabbit, if what I'm saying is right. Queensland, Queensland Australia is the answer. 49% of you getting that one right. Well done. Our other 
brutal question today, and almost half of you get it right, I'll take that. I'll take that all day long. About 16, 17% of the people eliminated coming back in. After that one, we are down to 6,863 people in grand prize contention. Only three questions left to go. Next one, worth one bonus SP if you get it right. It's question number eight. Pickleball most closely resembles which of the following sports? Is it tennis, tetherball, or billiards? Not in the Olympics yet. I feel like it will be. At some point, this is going to be in the Olympics, right? We can't avoid it. Dink that ball over the net, but don't use too much force or you're going to knock it out of bounds. Remember, even if it looks like it, pickleball is not tennis. You got to use a different force. Tennis is the answer. Of course, 96% of you getting that one right of the grand prize contenders. That's the only number I can see, but I'm guessing most of you got that right and earned yourself a bonus SB right there. We're going to move on to question number nine now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Which of the following is not the title of a Michael Jackson album? Is it Graceland, Thriller, or Bad? One of those is not a Michael Jackson album. Which one is it? Michael Jackson is responsible for some of the most successful albums of all time. But Paul Simon, who's no slouch himself, is the man behind 1986's Graceland, Graceland, Memphis, Tennessee, we're going to Graceland. 6,424 of you have made it this far, and you are ready for our final question. But first, did you know that there are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Daily Trivia, the app outside of daily trivia live this game mode one is through the daily trivia challenge the quick hostess version of our game that you can play on your schedule up to twice per day every day it takes almost no time second though and i want to talk about this to you is by clicking the more ways to earn button wherever you find it in the app now both ways will get usb towards your daily goal but when you click more ways to earn that unlocks the tap joy wall filled with quick easy to complete and you'll be racking up SB while having fun. You won't even realize how much you're getting. It's just going to pile up, pile up, and pile up. And this is something you can do every single day. You don't have to just use the app for these live games. We always appreciate that you do. But there are opportunities to earn SB from here every single day on your schedule, too. And TapJoy is one of those. That is building a winning habit for yourself when you earn via TapJoy. I know a lot of people who use TapJoy almost exclusively, and they're doing pretty well for themselves, my friend. So what are you waiting for? After the game, a little box is going to appear. Click that. It'll pop you out, ask you if you want to come back, say yes, and then check out the TapJoy wall and start earning today. All right, we have 6,458 people on the verge of winning a piece of our $1,000 grand prize. Over 16,200 of you have stuck around to the end, and there is one more bonus SB on the way if you can correctly answer question number 10. Here it is. Who plays Harley Quinn in the live-action Suicide Squad movies? Is it Margot Robbie, Angelina Jolie, or Sabrina Carpenter? Who plays Harley Quinn? It was a big score getting her to star in the original film, and she didn't disappoint, perfectly playing the Joker's main squeeze. Margot Robbie's subsequent appearances were even better. That's right, Margot Robbie is the answer. 5,956 of you knew that one, and you are splitting our grand prize today. Congratulations to all of our grand prize winners, each of you taking home 17 SB. And grand prize money plus the plus the bonuses that you earned along the way. GM Bach 2002, Chalusi Chalusiulfer. Congratulations, Miss Mythical Steph. You are a mythical champion, Mr. Pasta. Uh, you sauced it up and you made it as well. We got Camera Simmons, X Dark Fire X, and HJG VV FC 4 FC. My favorite name to say. Congratulations to all of our grand prize winners and those of you who claimed your bonus SB. You know what to do with all these new SB in your account, right? Of course, redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Great job all week long. Come back tomorrow for our Wednesday game. Thank you for playing Daily Trivia Live, and we will see you then, my friend.